This is not a place for humans. Fine, come at me with those dreams of yours. Hey, hello you guys! In this Pixelmon video, I'm going to prove to you guys that I, on Story Guy, is the Pokemon Master. But before we move on, let's do a quick recap of what happened the first 100 days. I began by capturing every single starter Pokemon and I built them a home. Then I captured Moltres, my first legendary Pokemon, and after a couple of tries, I defeated the first gym and earned myself the Bug Badge. I did it! I did it! I did it! I defeated the bug gym! I also moved to the Alps. I've barely built anything there. Me and a player called Troopa just flattened out the terrain. And that is pretty much it. And uh, this is where I live. And finally, at day 100, I participated in a legendary event. Where I caught myself a Mew. A shiny Mew, actually. That is amazing. I captured Mew! <laughs> I just saw a Mew! <laughs> I just saw a Mew and I just threw my Master Ball. Okay, so let's talk about my goals and dreams for the next 200 days. And one of those things is to make my new home in the Alps beautiful. And I also want to make myself a Laboratorium, where I will clone my Mew into a Mewtwo. Yes. And I also would like to capture myself Lugia. I love Lugia and I recently learned how to summon it. Then, I would like to defeat the second gym. And finally, I would like to win the official Pokemon tournament. Yes, we're hosting a tournament and I'm going to win it. For my first couple of days, I wanted to try something uh, out of the ordinary. I wanted to do a quick challenge and I captured myself a Magikarp and I wanted to trade this Magikarp for a legendary Pokemon. Can I convince people to trade with me? Let's find out. Hey guys, does uh, anyone want to trade a Pokemon? Good. I only have six total. I have a Magikarp, I need to trade it. I can trade you a fossil, I guess. Oh, that's a good, good trade. Yeah. For me. Well, Magikarp falls in the Gyarados, and the Gyarados is a water Pokemon, and I like water Pokemon. Yes, the Gyarados is awesome. Hey, Rib. You hear me, Rib? Hey, look here, come here. I have a, I have a Pokemon I want to trade. What are you giving me for that? Haven't hey, haven't two trades already. Take care of my old fossil. Yes. And I have a Swablu. Okay, I think I'm making progress here. Hey, we got another player here. And he's gone. I have a map drive. I have to see that from you. I'm sorry. What? I need a max drive. I have to seal it. <laughs> the only one I have. I just found it randomly. This dick here. I'm gonna hit you with it. But uh, you can have it back. I don't want to be rude. I was just joking. Rosie, come here. Come here, come here, come here. We, I got a trade. This Pokemon here is really good. It's called uh, Swablu. It is an amazing Pokemon. What, what, what do you have? Uh, that's a good trade. Oh, it's a Gibble. That is a really good trade. Yeah, They're yeah. Both good Pokemon. Oh, very good. Excellent. Take good care of my Pokemon, okay? Uh, convincing people to trade with me was much easier than I expected. So maybe next time when I do something similar, I will go undercover. So please subscribe if you want to see that. But yes, another method of finding people to trade with are those who are doing raids. So that's what I did. I joined the raid, then afterwards, I begged them to trade their Pokemon. I have an offer for you guys. I have a, a really good uh, Gibble. A really good Gibble. Look at this Pokemon. Who wanna trade it? Who wants it? It's really good. I like that you're holding a... Pikachu mug. Oh, a Persian. That's a, that's a good. I always like Persian. You gotta take good care of my Gibble, okay? I love that guy so much. Pokemon for Leaf. Can you follow me? Just follow me. We, we'll be back. Just wait, okay? Just follow me. Okay, listen. I really didn't like the Persian. Can you trade me something better? I didn't. I did not like the Persian. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's so much better. Are you sure about that? It's not a bit too good? Are you, are you sure? Oh my goodness, are you really sure? I feel like this is a really OP Pokemon. <laughs> are you sure about this? We can go lower. How, how do you even capture this one? You gotta give me something a bit, not that, that good. That was a bit too overkill. Okay, that, that, was, that was a really good Pokemon. You cannot give me that one. Oh wow, problem. Our business is uh, concluded. Thank you. Okay, so far so good. I started with my magic carp, then I traded it for a puzzle. And from there I got a Swablu, Gibble, Persian, and finally Golem. I think it's safe to say that I'm on a good path of trading my way up to a legendary. But guys, I just discovered that Poppin Candy has created Portland 2.0 right outside of my new base. I cannot escape him. He's taking over everything. But yeah, let us find more players to trade with. What am I doing in this forest? 
There's no players here, so why am I here? I'm just strolling through the forest. Why am I doing this? Wait a minute, shiny? Huh? <laughs> Why is there shiny Pokemon here? <laughs> what? That has nothing to do with my current challenge, but I, but, but I need it. Oh, I got him. No idea what it was, but it was a shiny. <laughs> I'm just strolling through the forest and I stumble upon a shiny Pokemon. Hey, what's up? Hi. You guys doing raids? Um, I do have a wishing piece I could use. Oh, nice. Are you looking for a specific Pokemon? Looking for good loot because I just got a title bell. Oh, nice! You got Let's it from a, you got it from the raid then, or how? Yeah, we just did a raid and uh, we got some good stuff. So. Oh, that's amazing! Look at my Pokemon here. This is my Golem. Oh, I have one of those. Those are a little weird, but kind of cool looking. Yes, but the thing is, I can't take care of him anymore. I need to trade him. Oh, you need to trade him to get um. The yeah. next evolution? No, I need, I need to get him off my hands. Oh dear. Um, what ooh, kind ooh. of Pokemon are you oh. looking for? Oh, I have no idea. I want to be surprised. What can you give me? Ooh, is it shiny? No. Uh, it's a pink form. Mm. Oh yeah, you, you got all of them. <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's all the pink forms. Kind of reminds me of myself. Oh, you got it. It's <laughs> same size and everything. <laughs> yeah. Wait, they're not same. They are the same levels. What's going on? Uh, did you get yours from a raid? Uh, yes, I got this okay. from the raid. Yes. You want to give that to, to, Dri to Drio? Uh, okay, I might have to consider it. I have to uh, consider its offer. Oh, look at that lap press. Do I already mind? have one, so you're. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> there you go. I, I caught it first try and everything. Hey, nice. <laughs> nice. I actually caught myself a lap press, just like that. That was nice. No, this golem is more worth than that uh, tree headed bird. I can't go backwards. I have to be greedy. That, that's my only play. I have to be greedy. I have o I can only win the trades. I cannot lose any trades. Let's teleport to the next player. Hey, how's it going? Where are we? Yeah, just wait here. Just you gotta follow me. Let's go over to Apricorns over here. I have this golem. I need to get it off my hands. I cannot have this one anymore. Are you willing to trade something for it? A ditto? Are you sure about this? Oh, we did it. Oh, you traded a ditto. Oh my goodness. Dust. You're a crazy man. You know that? What can I say, once I got my ditto, it was only uphill from there. And I visited a village, and there, I traded my ditto for a shiny Hootoot. And soon after, I traded my Hootoot for a Drake Lock. I kinda want to keep that one, but I can't. I must continue trading until I get my legendary Pokemon. I also did a Pokemon battle against one of these guys here, and, uh, I, and I definitely did not uh, like uh, lose, so let's move on. So I went to a player named Exter, and there, I traded myself a new Pokemon. Like rock. I'm not sure that was smart of me or not, but uh, either way, the next night, I convinced a player to trade with me, and I got something called uh, Mr. Rhyme. I've never seen this one before, so it gotta be somewhat uh, rare. And the same day, I went to Trooper. He's been very helpful uh, the previous 100 days, and he wanted this Mr. Rhyme really badly. Like, he really wanted this uh, Mr. Rhyme and gave me an Ultra Beast for it. A huge jellyfish Pokemon. That is, uh, th th that is really something. But before I moved on to my next victim, we did a fun uh, musical share event. And I don't know how, but I was doing really well. How do I get up? Oh. Uh, shift, <laughs> shift. Oh, oh. Am I running the wrong way or the right way? I, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I got a seat. Yes. <laughs> I got a seat. Yeah, I did it. And I actually managed to get to top three, but in the end, Trooper was victorious. But that was really fun, and you guys should definitely join the server to take part in uh, small and large events like know. these. Hey, fireworks! All for you, Trooper. But the day after, I met up with a Pokemon crew that went with the name Ristlers. And you won't believe it, the Ristlers loved my jellyfish Pokemon. It's an Ultra Beast as well. It's shiny. Oh, this is a legendary Pokemon. It's a legendary Pokemon? Yeah, it's a shiny legendary. Are you really sure? Yes. Oh my goodness, let's go to the computer. Well. That completes my challenge then. All I wanted was a legendary. And now I got one. <laughs> nice. Sweet. That completes my challenge. I actually managed to trade my way from a Magikarp to this legendary Pokemon. I do admit that some people were maybe a bit too willing to trade with me. So if I were to do something similar again, I will make sure to do it undercover. But I finally returned to my home base and I was ready to get to work. But before I could, someone has built a statue of me. Home. Are you joking me? <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Wow. Here's a gift for me to you. 
I don't know what to say, if this doesn't help uh, boost my ego, I, I don't know what would. Okay, so right now I would like to work on my home base, and at the bottom of this hill I have a den, and I want to make a path down there. But this hill is extremely steep, so for the next couple of days I will be removing and flattening out the terrain, and make a nice path going from the main area down to the den. As you can imagine, this is going to take a lot of time. But luckily, I previously received a special armor piece that makes mining go really fast. And that alone probably saved me 10 days of work. I also figured it would be fun with a before and after shot. So this is how it is currently after doing some mining. And later in the video, I will stand in the same position so that we can see the before and after shot. I think that would be really cool. So I kept on mining for many days and eventually most of the mining was done. And I decided to build uh, multiple retaining walls. I already went to the Pokemart and bought some of these uh, temple bricks, as they look quite nice. Then I filled and flattened the terrain with a lot of dirt blocks that eventually will become grass. I'm imagining that all of this is like the backyard of my home base, but it will serve two purposes. And that is to have a nice path leading down to the den. And I would like to build a laboratorium where I would clone my Mew. Yeah, so I kept on working and eventually I saw a Poopitar and I figured, hey, I should catch that. But I'm almost done here and a player named Sajimi came and showed off his Pokemon, including a Lugia. And that made me realize that I'm wasting time. I should try to summon Lugia while I'm working. So Jimmy also gave me a Master Ball. Wow, thank you, that's really kind. I'm gonna use this Master Ball here to capture Lugia. And for the next 20 days, yeah, yeah this sure took some time. I was laser focused on doing raids. You see, to summon Lugia, I would need an item called Tidal Bell. And basically the only way of getting that is defeating five star raid dens. And even then, the chance of getting a Tidal Bell is rare. And not to mention that these raids are the hardest raids to defeat. And uh, none of my Pokemon are even level 100, so I'm super grateful that I have a bunch of players willing to fight alongside me, otherwise I probably wouldn't be able to defeat these raids, so I appreciate the help that I'm getting. At some point I went back to my first home base, and let me take you back memory lane. So when I first began my journey during my first 100 days, I found a really nice forest where I set up a small apricorn farm, and eventually I built a house to store my starter pokemon. To keep it short, I built a pleasant and nice place that I could call home. But then, a player named Poppin' Candy arrived, my nemesis, and he was here to screw with me. He started off with some innocent signs, and then he built a cave that was designed to murder me. And after that, he got creative, and he built a loud, noisy redstone door machine beneath the ground, right under my chest, just to screw with me. And I admit it, he had me fooled for multiple days, and now, he has taken it to the next level. Oh boy! What has happened to my to my home? I don't even know what to say. Look at this. He made a wall around it. He's made a wall around my home. I cannot believe any of this. This is outrageous. I cannot believe he done he has done this to my home. My first home. You guys see what I'm dealing with? We already saw Portland 2.0 uh, earlier in the video. And I just really hope that that city won't reach my beautiful home up in the Alps. But yeah, that is just a quick update on the ongoing war, I guess. So I continued searching for raid dance. I also picked up a bunch of uh, lavender flowers. I think these will be super nice to have in my backyard. Also, while searching for these raid dance, I had this guy choosing not only to travel with me and doing the raids, but he was traveling on me. Literally. But after a couple of days, I got lucky and received a clear bell from a raid den. This one is to summon Ho-Ho. It is not Lugia that I mainly wanted, but uh, I don't mind a Ho-Ho either. So, so yeah, that is awesome. Soon after, I also checked out the, the progress of a school that someone is building. It looks really good. I was also given a rainbow wing. With this item, I can change the skin of certain Pokemon. They will become white and have a rainbow color. So thank you, Angel. I'm gonna keep that. And my search continues. I won't stop until the Tidal Bell is mine. And funny enough, I managed to get a second Clear Bell in another raid. That is good, <laughs> but I still want my Tidal Bell. I also collected some saplings from a tree that I wanted to plant in my home. These were some uh, redwood uh, trees, and they looked quite nice. But then something interesting happened. A couple of days later, I returned to my first village. This is the village that I spawned in on day one. And I've only accepted quests from these NPCs guys here. And apparently I've completed some of them. And wow, one of these quest givers gave me a dragon egg as a reward. Based on how people reacted in the chat, this was an extremely rare item to receive, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Then I just flew around and did more raids, until I came to a new village, 
A player made village. There are so many larger player built villages now. And this place was beautiful. I spent an entire day just looking around. There were so many homes and things to see. But yeah, nice village and my search continues. But I somehow ended up in the end. I did a quick raid there and captured unknown. Then this poor guy was battling a boss Pokemon. And sadly, during the battle, uh, the Pokemon slipped and oh. fell off the edge. Ah, that is... That was unfortunate. <laughs> so, I want to introduce you guys to one of the guys that have been doing raids with me. His name is Tired, and uh, this guy invited me over to his base. And uh, Tired here has built his own casino. And, uh, well, I was there to play. Oh, Gravestone outside of the casino. Uh, your mom, okay. The last person won. Why am I going in here? These are all, each have a beast one. <laughs> what? Yeah, what do you think of the place? It's quite nice, but it does, um, I don't know what to say, I don't feel safe. What makes you feel like that? I don't know, there could be the graves, the gravestones outside. Oh, all the... Have you, read, you haven't read all of them, have you? Uh, no, no, only a few. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh, look at that. Seems like, oh, uh, wait, are, are these the top winners? Uh, they, mm -hmm. they kind of look like uh, losers. I don't know, they're the, the winners. How do I play this? Maybe. Um, you pay me money, and then the dispensers will shoot up rare candy or a stone brick. Okay, I'm gonna do a huge, huge one here. 50,000. Oh yeah. Which one? This one will double your money, but it's only one dispenser. This will... This has rare candy, this has XL candy. Yeah. Higher chance, lower rewards, or big win. I I'm going for the big win. Alright, you ready? This place is this, this place is rigged. It's no rigged to the that. it's rigged to the bottom. <laughs> it really isn't. I mean, Luther only lost his soul and his family. But <laughs> that's that's like our. Yeah, what can I say? I came here, I spent a lot of money, and I should have quit after the first round, but I didn't. And uh, yes, I lost it all. Let this be a lesson to you guys watching. Don't ever gamble. The house always win. Or in this case, tired always win. Okay, actually, I did play one extra game. So this is the button of money. Okay. So, what happens is, you press the button, and if it, the button disappears, you lose all your money. But you can press it up to five times to get a set of profit. But you can stop any time. For instance, you press it once, then you can stop. Okay. But you only get 1.1 profit. Okay, yeah. Right. I mean... Give it a second. Alright, that's one win. I won? They got 1.1 profit. All right, and 1.2 profit. You gonna keep going? They said three to five odds. Huh. Okay, you've got one to four profit. You gonna stop there? Yes, I'll stop there. All right, so 1,000. There you go. Nice, so it's not completely rigged. Oh. Like that. All right, the see. button's gone. That means you lose. Oh, so it was a good thing I took the payout when I did. I love also how you trap your, like, consumers in here. And after this, we just talked and fooled around. I showed him Portland City, and he kept uh, he kept sitting on my head until I found a way to hurt him. But uh, no title bell yet, sadly. I found a perfect spot. Serious? <laughs> But this next day was great for me. I was in another huge village, a really cool place, and there I caught Rod again. This Pokemon has honestly become one of my favorite oh. dragon types. Not only is it cool, but it's really strong. But after I caught it, I flew around. I'm not sure who lives here, but uh, they were building a huge castle and so many other things. It looked really good, but apparently this is where Sajimi lived. And you won't believe it. He had a Tidal Bell and I traded my second Clear Bell for his Tidal Bell. Thank you. And with that, I don't need to do more raids, at least for now. So I ran back home and placed both the clear bell and the tidal bell. Guys, I'm really excited for these bells to ring. I just hope it won't take too long. But in the meantime, I began planting those uh, lavender flowers that I picked up before. This backyard of mine is gonna be super nice and purple. So my plan right now is to sit back, hang around the bells and uh, work more in the backyard. There's a certain stone block that I want to collect. I already have a silk touch uh, book, but uh, I need an anvil to apply it to my pickaxe. And I don't have any iron. And instead of mining, I asked the server if anyone would allow me to use their anvil. And uh, well, hello? Oh, an anvil. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, 
he just gave me an anvil. So for the rest of the day and night, I collected as much as I could of these uh, grass stone blocks. And then the next day, I placed down all of these blocks that I collected and uh, other decorative items, such as uh, rocks and lanterns. I did more or less the same the day after as well. I also spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to add a splash screen text uh, once people enter my home. It did take some time, but I did figure it out. And now it says on Sword Guy's home when people come here. That is good. This is what I've done. Look at this. I think it's quite beautiful. And I, I also went to the Pokemart. Got myself some new blocks. Well, I wait for one of these bells to hopefully ring so I can catch Ho Ho and Lugia. I will build a laboratorium where I will try to clone my Mew. So while I wait, we're gonna clone you, baby. But before I can clone you, I need to have a laboratorium. The only thing I have to figure out is um, where should I build my laboratorium? Should I build it here at the edge? Up here? Kind of the build where Mew is. Maybe we can even extend the terrain here. After doing some careful consideration, I decided to extend the terrain and build my laboratorium at the edge of a cliff. So that is what I did for the rest of the day. Extending the land and building my cliff. And I was nearly done by the next morning. But suddenly, I had a bunch of visitors. What? Where did they all come from? Oh well. They were here to watch me, I guess, and uh, show off their Pokemon and stuff. It's actually kind of nice for some company, but I kept them working, and eventually the cliff was done, and I began building the foundation of my lab. Once that was done, I placed down the floor. A green tiled floor. It looks good, but I mean, I will be honest. What I'm building is just a basic structure. But hey, I'm having fun, and that is all that matters. I guess this is what happened when you have guests over. Poke was here, and that is that guy. He knows, he knows what he has done. <laughs> Some of these guys also used my fossil machine and just and just left. That is what I would call a free Pokemon. A free Pokemon for me. But my lab is near completion. The walls are up, windows are placed, and I've already begun uh, placing lab-related machines. But at some point, I realized that my lab was too small. I had to make it larger. And I decided to simply make a basement area for the fossil cleaners and stuff. This is taking some time, but I'm glad Pokemon for Leaf is here to keep me company. None of the bells have rung yet, and it's been like 8 days now, I think. I actually have no idea how long I must wait. For all I know, this might take uh, 50 days or more. I have no idea. I'm making good progress. So, here's the laboratory for now. It's missing a roof and some other things. You enter here, there's a staircase leading down. You've got the cloning machine where I'll put in you. You've got a, a window view. You, you can read a sign, apparently. And if you go downstairs, you'll find like, oh my goodness, I'm not placed in these fossils. Yeah, here's where you do like fossil cleaning and stuff and you can, again, look out the window. Yeah, I don't know, it's, I think it's good. That was just a quick tour of the lab as it currently is. And I continued waiting for the bells. I am always checking the bells. I believe it's supposed to ring either at dawn or dusk. I am, I'm not entirely sure. I believe we're now halfway done. If I counted my days correctly, we should be on day 150. And I'm now working on a roof. And yeah, I did a small oopsies. I somehow managed to place my Mew into the machine by accident. A bit too early. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure what to do. I will just leave my Mew inside of the machine. But within night time, I can say myself happy with the lab. The roof is made and everything is ready for cloning. Trupa, you guys know him. He heard about the good news and came over. And he also showed me his shiny Tarantrum. Lucky guy. And while he was here, I showed him the lab, and we built a Pokeball on the roof, and now the lab is complete. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Trupa was not impressed with the lab. He said that I must decorate it more, so I did. He also gave me some dye to uh, recolor the healer and my PC. I keep forgetting you can do that. But yeah, I was ready to clone, and today is a perfect day to clone my Mew, as Mewtwo Pokemon ID is 151. And you guessed it, today is day 151. I did not plan this, it, it, it is just a happy accident. But then, Tropa said, Kim, you need to have pictures of Pokemon in your lab. What is a lab w without pictures? Okay, so yeah, uh, no cloning for me. I guess I gotta get myself a camera and take some photos. He also showed me his home, and uh, wow. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say, there's too much to show. And everything looks amazing. I can't believe how much he's managed to do. I mean, what the, I mean, what? <laughs> That guy had pigs. How did he get pigs in Pixmon? These aren't Pokemon. W what is happening here? Are you joking me? <laughs> and all of them. Oh, look at them. They all have names and you can ride them. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, that's funny. It really seemed like that Trooper had everything, but he didn't have a dragon egg, so I gave it to him. He has earned that. But I was back home again, and uh, now we're gonna craft a camera, and here's the recipe for it. The main thing that I need is the uh, aluminium plate, so I began mining for bauxite ore. You'll find that between Y level 30 and 60, I believe. Once again, thanks to my armor, mining goes super fast. This armor has ruined me. I can never go back to regular mining. And within minutes, I had a ton of iron ores and bauxite ores. Honestly, this is just ridiculous, but I'm loving it. So I went up to the surface and I placed down some uh, furnaces and then began melting everything down. Then I will need a Pixmon anvil to turn these ingots into plates. And thanks to all of the iron that I collected, crafting the anvil was no problem. Then I just had to wait for everything to melt and uh, just uh, just do my, my bells. Please ring soon. The aluminium was ready and I simply placed them on the anvil and prepared to smash them. Let us do it together. I will smash the aluminium and you will smash that like button. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Charmander. I'm doing my best. I take the aluminium plates like this, take the torch like this, glass there, and a button there. And voila! Camera! Hey, I got a camera! Hehe, <laughs> nice. But we're not done. I need to craft the film for the camera. One of the recipes that I needed to craft the film is paper, and paper is made out of sugarcane. And I've read that fairy Pokemon drop sugarcanes. I've seen many Clefairies around here, so I began hunting them down. I see there's a Clefairy inside this cave here. There you are. Oh boy, this one is level 50. Yeah, take it out, Dredrigen. Take it out. So, it is about to be a sunset. Will any of these bells ring for me? Ring. Ring for me. Ring, please. But I had enough sugar canes, and now I wanted to get my hands on some ink sack. I've read that certain water Pokemon might drop that, uh, like a tentacle. But after battling a couple of Pokemon, I did not find the right type. So instead, I decided to go to Pokemart. Apparently, they sold the ink sack. But if you don't have a Pokemart near you, go and defeat a tentacle. And with that, I crafted a paper and I finally got my film. Now, the only thing remaining is a battery for my camera. Yeah, apparently just crafting the camera is not enough. I also need a battery for it, but the battery is not craftable. It is only obtained from regular Pokemon loot. I could spend a couple of days looking for that loot, but instead, Tropa here offered me one, as he had extra. Thank you. Hey, just for a uh, payment, you, you definitely don't need it, but here, there you go, payment. I'm gonna take a photo of my Mew. Hey, Mew. Say smile. Don't go away. Don't go away. Try, I'm trying to take a photo here. What? I took a photo. I want to have a picture of my unknown. Hey, do you have a missing no? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just cheese. Let's go and hang up some pictures. Oh yeah. All right. I, th I think I'm done here with the laboratorium. What do you say? Should we try make uh, make a Mewtwo? I have one Master Ball and I got the diamond blocks that you gave to me for Christmas. Let's see. Oops. There my Mew is in. Before we start the cloning process, I have one Master Ball, I have plenty of Quick Balls, I have some regular Pokeball. Maybe I should buy an Ultra Ball. I think... Ooh! It is also sunset. Let's make sure the bells is not ringing. Yeah, no, this is... this is good. Okay, so I spent even more time trying to prepare myself. I'm hoping that I can catch Mewtwo without using my Master Ball. So I figured I could try to get Mewtwo to go to sleep or something like that. But let us skip to the next day or next night after I was done with my poor uh, preparations. Are you ready for this? One. Two. Three. It's processing. What would I get? <laughs> will I get a Ditto or a Mewtwo? Only time would tell. And I want to... Do I want to make it go to sleep? Oh, it's Mewtwo. So I want to make it go to sleep right away. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's, it's skipping. Uh, I'm stressing out. I forgot what Pokemon I was going to use. There we go. Okay. Yo. He... It almost killed it. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, no, no, it did work. Never mind. I'm going to use a sleeping ball. Green ball. Ooh, this is not looking good for me. I'm trying a quick ball here. Oh boy, my Pokemon are falling like flies. Okay, Mewtwo is paralyzed, so maybe I can use a, uh, a level ball. Oh, well, this is my last Pokemon. What happens if I lose? Will the Mew like Mewtwo escape or be gone? Oh my goodness, what do I do, Trooper? I'm, I'm using the Master Ball. I'm, I'm taking no more chances. Oh, I got him. <gasps> 
Oh boy. <laughs> I was really terrified there. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at you. You're clapping for me. That's so kind. Ah, oh, it's not shiny though. I assumed it would be shiny since my Mew was shiny. Okay. Interesting. I caught Mewtwo. I caught it. And Trooper here. He wanted more. More Mewtwo's. Yeah, apparently you can do the cloning process multiple times. I had no idea. I didn't want to remove my old uh, cloning machine. I kind of like having a broken one. It tells a story. So I bought new ones that I can place elsewhere. But before I knew, it was morning. Oh, <gasps> bell! Oh, bell! Bell is ringing! Oh my goodness! Bell is ringing! I don't have any more Master Balls. Which one is ringing with them? Which one is it? Is it Tidal? It's Lugia! <gasps> oh my goodness! I don't have a... I don't have a Master Ball. Uh... Uh, what do I do? Um, uh, emergency. Uh, <laughs> emergency. Are you sure? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was not prepared. Hey, tired. Listen to the sound. Ooh. How does it appear? I'm so curious. It spawns above the bell. Oh, there's Lugia. I oh my. it was like a shadow from Lugia. Yeah, it was shadow from like all black. Oh my goodness. What level is it? 70? I'm start with a quick ball. That did not work. Do you really yoink my Lugia? <laughs> I'm Mewtwo. I recently caught Mewtwo. What can you do? I'm gonna throw a lot of Ultra Balls. That's what I'm gonna do. My uh, Mewtwo can handle a beating. Oh no, I threw a Master Ball! Oh my goodness. I mean, it's fine, but also actually an accident. But hey! I got myself a Lugia. Look at this baby. Look at that, guys. I got my Lugia. Right after I got my Mewtwo. That is wild. My goodness, that is a lot of great Pokemon in, in a short amount of time. I owe you a trooper. Thank you. I'm also sorry for using your Master Ball. I got Lugia. That actually did not take as long as I imagined it would. Tired also liked my Slow King. He said it was really rare to find, and he wanted to trade. I mean, after he scanned me in the casino, I figured, sure. Why not? And I traded it for Inteleon, the final evolution of Sobble. This guy might come in handy for my next challenge. I'm now going to try to defeat the Rock Gym. So they want me to do some uh, climbing here. Look at that. Easy. Nice. End it. End it. Stop that. I defeated the first one. And now I gotta do more climbing. So I just continued fighting and climbing my way up to the top, where the gym leader stood. I believe I'm about to reach the gym leader now. Oh yeah, that's the gym leader. Hey, no boy. Uh, use uh, Dragon Rush. You're doing a good job. I don't know what that shock sh shockle is doing. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going so well for me. How is my Lugia doing so well? I thought it's a flying Pokemon. It's gonna get crushed right away. Okay, there my Lugia goes. Oh my god, this is not looking good after all. Blastoise, please. There we go. Thank you, Blastoise. Me too. Please end this for me, me too. Oh no! I lost. That was close though. Hey, I kinda expected to lose, but I did do better than I expected. But now I gotta wait an entire day before I can challenge the gym leader again. So in the meantime, I tried learning new moves and stuff. And the next day, I was back for my second attempt. And uh, well, it went terrible. So again, I had to wait, and I tried preparing myself more, kind of meaningless, as I'm terrible, to be honest. Like, I'm really bad, I have no clue what I'm doing. The only thing that I know is that fire Pokemon defeats grass Pokemon, grass Pokemon defeats water Pokemon, and water Pokemon defeats uh, fire Pokemon. That is my knowledge. But even if I'm terrible, I won't quick easily, even though I probably should. What is happening here? Why is all of my Pokemon dying? There's so many Ultra Balls. Hello? Huh? Someone has been here and placed a bunch of Ultra Balls. <gasps> a Master Ball! What? <laughs> Sajimi has been here again, and he left a trail of Ultra Balls that led me to a Master Ball. That is funny. 
Thank you, said Jimmy. Thank you for that. But there weren't much for me to do while I waited for the gym to be available again. So I just stayed in my base and eventually Trooper came along and I shared how difficult the gym was. By the way, Trooper here have already defeated the gym. He has even defeated the Elite Four. Yeah, he's a Pokemon Master. I mean, we will see. He's going to participate in the tournament and we will see how good he really is. But our conversation led to something big and extreme. I've already mentioned it in my previous 100 days, but my entire base is built in the shadows. Because of this huge mountain, I'm living in the shades. And you know what? I want that mountain gone. I want to feel and experience the sunlight hitting me and my base in the morning. And that means the mountain has to go. And I somehow managed to convince the Pokemon Master to remove it. And in the meantime, I returned to the rock gym. And once again, I was crushed. It is actually because of this uh, Cradilly that is causing all of my issues. I just can't get past this one Pokemon. And you know what I just realized? If I'm struggling with this gym, how am I supposed to win the tournament? So I return back home, and Trubas already made some progress, like maybe an inch of the mountain is removed. But he kept going, he had no intention of stopping, and I couldn't just stand here and watch. So I decided to help out. And for 7 days straight, we worked on mining this huge mountain away. With just me and Trooper, this would have taken a long time. So everyone who wanted to do this slave labor was invited to mine and i will be honest it was surprisingly fun we pulled up our sleeves turned on some music and mined like wild mans oh my goodness get to work get to work right now get to work 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 <laughs> Troop was in charge of this operation and uh, he did not appreciate slacking, no no no. He wanted results faster than I, but our effort paid off and thanks to all of the workers, eventually the entire mountain was gone and I could finally get the sunlight that I so desired. <gasps> There's the sun, guys look! The sun is rising and it's hitting my, my home. We got sunshine, Trooper, we got sunshine. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for helping me. And look at all the sunshine. Even my sugar canes uh, grow, uh, grows way faster now. Uh, this block you can break. Uh, you guys are still working? I took a short break after all of this. I was tired, but Trooper here, he kept working. And by the next day, he has transformed my water pound. And just look at this nice water pound I have now. It used to be just a simple water pound out of rocks. But now there's sand, corals, lanterns, and more. It looks amazing. Thank you, Trooper. But I tried fighting the gym again, and uh, nope, I did not win. That Cordelia is destroying my team. Then I used some of the experience points that I had and evolved my Pupitar into Tyranitar. Maybe Tyranitar can defeat the Cordelia. So Jimmy also came along and he gave me another gift, a Zygarde cube. Um, I don't really know much about this item, but thank you and I kept it stored in my chest for later. Then I went to the gym again with my Tyranitar. This is what, like my... 8th attempt, if not more, and sure enough, I was defeated. A man can only lose that many times before he... before he lose hope. And I was beginning to lose hope. But I was in a building mood again. Both me and Trooper were, so we continued working on my base. We were mainly just making paths and making the area more green and preparing to build other structures later. Eventually though, a boss Pokemon suddenly appeared. It was a Mega Charizard. And I, of course, flew and engaged it in battle. But I stood no chance. That Mega Charizard was defeating every single Pokemon that I had. I mean, it didn't help that I didn't bring my best Pokemon for this. But in my moment of struggling, Tropa proposed that I use its shiny Kyogre to defeat the Charizard. And that Kyogre was a beast. It easily defeated the Charizard. And with that, I both earned a Mega Stone for the Charizard and I received a Mega Band. I actually did not have that before now. I know, 200 days of playing and I just now defeated my first boss. It is time. It is time for the official Pokemon tournament. Everyone on the server was invited to participate and we were just short of 20 players. So now we're gonna find out who has the greatest Pokemon, who trained the hardest and who will become the Pokemon master. And yes, of course, prizes will be given to the winners. As the tournament began, we were told to stay in this red area while the bracket was being made. And eventually, I learned who I will fight first. Dare I say, my enemy. Poonslayer is the player that I'm going to battle. Poonslayer, if I lose, there are gonna be consequences, just so you know. <laughs> I, I'll, put in, I'll put in five level one pitches, all right, deal. All right, deal. Good, Poonslayer, I swear to God. If, I, if I'm defeated on the first round... I'm afraid you're gonna, dude. I'm not gonna like him, my team sucks. My team <laughs> we were all excited and hyped, and the first battle has begun. GG and Kasuya were battling while everyone watched from the grandstand. We all expected the first match to be epic. What? 
Is that a sh oh, look look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, the one shot? The one shot. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got five Poké Dollars on GG. And it was. It started off really good, but goddamn. This match lasted forever. Suddenly, both players were just stalling and using moves like a recovery or something. So this is worse than a Metapod battle. Exactly. But in the end, GG came out as victorious and will move on to the next round. Then it was Acer vs Dooms, an intense and epic battle that did not last forever. Both players gave their all. And meanwhile, during the battle, we had the, there, were, there were two Germans speaking German in a corner. I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. It made me feel unsafe. You guys are trying to terrorize something? But in the end, Dooms won, much thanks to his strong and special Garshot. Oh, hey, that was quick. Uh, Moving on, and we have Dam vs Breath. Tyre, you need to tell me what's happening here. So the Blissey is now used Toxic and has killed the... The Waylord? Uh, Waylord, yeah. Oh. Now it's Dark Eternatus versus Blissey. Blissey's mm -hmm. probably used Toxic. Who, so, so who got the advantage oh. here? It looks like Eternatus. Um, Damu. It started off really great until it became another stale battle. And uh, the crowd was not pleased. Actually, someone brought out their knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it kind of got out of hand. However, Dam had enough and brought out his Kyogre and ended the battle in a single move. Hey, it's over. Then guys, I'm up. It is my turn to battle. And as you know, I'm going up against Poonslayer. Poonslayer and Unsorted. Oh my goodness. Come Slayer. on down and go. I got no fire moves. Aha, I made it paralyzed. I'm a genius. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Oh no. Remember what I told you, if I lose, there's gonna be consequences. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kim. I have to do it. Oh no. Have I defeated a single one yet? No. Okay, my big guns. Here we go. Okay, here, here we go, here we go. Oh no. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh, my now we're talking. I think I'm still good at does not go. Are you joking me? <laughs> Are you joking me? Oh, I'm so you've got this. I'm still in this. And I was just saying, waiting dot dot dot. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so as I was about to defeat him, we got the common weight glitch. So the battle froze. It is somewhat annoying, but that is just something that happens from time to time. So we ended the battle and tried again. Oh, I, oh it's, no, fine, it's, bad, fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. If you beat me, if you beat me, well played. It would kind of suck if I lose because I was up five to one. But. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be different this time. <laughs> I doubt it. I barely did any damage to you. There he goes. Oh, oh wow. no! Come on, Scizor! Okay, I've seen this uh, happen once yeah. before. Oh, you burned me though! Oh. Yeah. Aha! 100% huh? believe in you. Predicted! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Predicted! I knew you were gonna switch oh, out. Oh no, the Volker so, uh, Well, right. you did not predict this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get a mutant? What? Well, they, they did nothing to you! <laughs> they did nothing to you! Oh no, it's unsorted being destroyed. Hey! I don't. Oh no. I can't do that any damage. Okay, oh. oh, have I even defeated a single one of yours? No, why Why you do that to me? <laughs> How could you? And just like that, I'm already out. And Poonslayer moved on to the next round. That went even worse than I expected. I'm so sorry. You humiliated me twice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, you know what? <laughs> Hold on. Here you go. I'm sorry. Oh wow! What? Well, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> I can. I can get it easily from Elite Four. There are still matches to be had, but Cold won his first round simply because his opponent were nowhere to be found. The first round of battles is nearly done. Just a few more, and it is currently Phase D versus Echoes, a match that ended even faster than mine. Phase D's Rillaboom absolutely wrecked every single Pokemon Echoes threw at it. No, it's just God, that's no. And now. We got Tired versus Troopa, the guys that I've spent the most time with. I already know that these guys are good, so this will be an intense and close match for sure. Both released their strong legendary Pokemon. Actually, I don't know what that horse thing is, but it was strong and it defeated Troopa's Rayquaza. Oh, wait, wait, what? what? Both Pokemon KO'd each other. Wait, what happened? Yep. Who died? They died. I think they took each other out on that one. <laughs> wow, is that even possible? Then it became the battle of the apes. Which ape is the stronger one? The tiny ape or the large ape? It turned out it was the little guy. Then, Tropa switched out to his Kyogre. The same Kyogre that I used to defeat the Charizard boss. That Kyogre is strong. How's it going, Tired? Stressful. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tired... Wait, what? 
Tired is using Slow King, the same Slow King that I gave to him. Th that used to be my Pokemon. And wow, it actually defeated the Kyogre. Damn, now I regret trading it away. It was a really strong Pokemon. Oh well. The battle continued and both brought out their best Pokemon. I think nobody expected an intense battle like this one. But suddenly it was over and Tired defeated Tropa. What a match. What a what a great match. Oh my god. Uh, you did it! Uh, my hands are shaking. Oh. <laughs> I hated battling too for me. Oh my god. You were so quiet. No, I, I had to focus. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> you always so talk so, but now you're dead silent. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm taking it seriously, man. <laughs> then we have the final match of the first round, and it's between ours and Real Taco. But what can I say, Trooper? I guess we both weren't good enough. But uh, Real Taco seems to have only brought a family of uh, beat off to the tournament. Just that alone makes him a winner in my eyes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that did nothing. I can't believe this is happening. But sadly, all of his beat offs were defeated. There he goes. And with that, the first round is over. All of the weakest players are eliminated, including myself. And we are preparing to start the second round where there will be four battles. Now I just want to talk to you before your next match. You did yeah. you did well. So how are you going to win the next one? Start with Sableye because he has a broken ability. So that Toxic bounces off and goes to the field of the enemy. So you're going to poison them. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Your next uh, contender, GG, said uh, he's gonna beat you. What do you have to say to that? That might happen because I've fought him before. No. <laughs> oh, so do you have any strategies? Many different ones, though I don't know if they're gonna work, but I hope so. Well then, any last words before you go in there? This is gonna go horribly. <laughs> it was a fun and interesting battle, but Dooms brought out his secret weapon. A huge red and very muscular bug. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's a giant mosquito. Okay. Oh, there we go. Next up is Poonslayer versus Stamu. And as you know, Poonslayer is the one that both uh, defeated me and humiliated me. So, y you know how I feel about this battle. How are, yeah. you, how are you planning my revenge? I'm gonna clap his cheeks. Good. That, that sounds perfect. I was saying that I'm hoping you lose and... Uh... Oh, whoa. And we have, we have come up with a great plan. And I'm just curious. How are you gonna? Okay. How are you gonna win this? Okay, so my thought is, you know, if I can get my swords Dan Zossi enough, I can beat the rest of his team because he can't poison it. So that's my plan. Yeah, so your plan is to lose. I get it. I like it. Yeah, my good. plan is to lose. My plan is to lose. Good, good plan. I, th I thought giving you 750k would be on my side. Oh man. <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot about. I forgot about the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you're on my side, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Hey, go, hey, go, hey, go defeat him. Go, go, go defeat him. Right, thank you. Thank you. I honestly forgot that Poonslayer gave me like 700, 750k just a few moments ago. Perhaps I should forgive him now, but the match began and even more people came to watch, including these these guys. At least Poonslayer got to fight a better challenger, but he's not here to play around and he won the battle. Oh, there we go, you did it. And now it is Cold versus Facity. Cold did not have a microphone and uh, he wasn't feeling very confident, but the same can't be said about Face D. I've only ever lost to one person. You ever? You only lost once? Yes, and that's to Tired. Oh, okay. Yes. You, you're, you're thinking you, you're gonna win this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got this in the bag. Alright, let's go and find out. This is a fun battle. Cold even brought out his shiny Charizard that he also Gigantamaxed. My goodness, the entire stadium began to rumble as the Charizard attacked. But Face ID came prepared and used his Lugia to defeat the Charizard and the rest of Cold's Pokémon. Oh. Now, we have the final match of the second round. And it is between Tired and Ars, but uh, Ars were suddenly gone. He was nowhere to be found. And since he's not here to battle Tired, I guess Tired will just move on. So Tired, you've done, you done well so far, somehow. What have you done and how long have you trained? I was trading a very long time. I was the first person to get a uh, Calyrex on the server. I'm really happy about that. Okay. No, be gone. Be gone? <laughs> nice about it. I'm trapped. We're getting close to the final. There's just two more Pokemon battles to be had before the final match will happen. And starting off, it is Poonslayer versus Dooms. Both have proven themselves to be great Pokemon trainers. Especially Poonslayer, considering he defeated me. Yeah, I will never let that go. 
And wow, once Spoonslayer brought out his uh, Lugia, the battle was more or less over for Dooms. Man, I need to figure out how I can make my Lugia that powerful. But that means Spoonslayer is in the final match and have already secured his second place in the tournament. But who will he battle? Will it be Face D or Tired? Both of them are strong and confident trainers, but to everyone's surprise, or especially to my surprise, their match ended extremely fast. Tired only had to use two of his Pokemon to defeat Face D. Yeah, you heard that right, only two of them. That weird horse and Rillaboom. Wow, you did it, Tired. Oh, oh tired. no, versus Tired, oh no, oh no. Oh, I, don't, I don't like this, dude, I don't like this. What did you think of that on Sword? That was really quick. I don't I don't believe you did that that quickly. Who's Slayer? Boomslay, I, I hope you will win, okay? Thank you. And with that, we have the final match of the tournament. And we are about to figure out who is the Pokemon Master on the server. Will it be Boomslayer or will it be Tired? Oh my. Oh boy. What in the... What did he just... What move, what move did you just use? G-Max Darkness. What the heck? Okay, I needed, I needed that. I needed that. That's huge. Hey! Go. That's the two legends down. Oh boy. Oh, I think that's poison type. Oh wait, no, how do I cancel my move? How do I cancel my move? I used the wrong one. Oh, it worked. Oh, stop it. Stop. Oh. No, why'd you switch out? Okay, we're good. Oh no, that's so bad. Oh wow. I lose, I lose, I lose here. You're still in it. I'm gonna lose. Don't give up yet. How did, oh, it avoided. I'm over. It's over. Pirate's too good, bro. I can't poison it, it's over. If only my extra drill was. The, oh. Let's go! Fire! My heart is pacing. Like it's. <laughs> I get 180 beats a minute. Tired is the winner of the tournament and our new Pokemon Master. Thank you, thank you. Well done, Tired. Poonslayer, we can't destroy the map because uh, you lost. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't destroy because you win. I, I can destroy because I, I win. I can <laughs> uh, okay, Tired did not win after all. He's disqualified. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no need for that, no need for that, no need for that. There we go. Where's, where's second place guy? How do I get up there? Oh, you, oh my goodness, here's the extra diamond. Get, jump on that one. Thank you, thank there we go. Fancy, fancy, stand normal, please. For like a half a second. <laughs> hey. And Pooslayer, he gets 500,000 Poké Dollars and a legendary key. And finally, oh, tired. <laughs> Good game. That's what we say That's to you. Ice. You get, you, get you want nothing. the feeling of winning and participating. Tired. Yeah, he gets nothing. No, I'm just joking. Here, tired. You get what? What? Tired. Oh, wow. Here's your rare candy, tired. Oh, you love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. This tournament was really fun. It did take a couple of days, and we are already on day 191, and I have a plan. But first, there's a bull chasing us. Run to the bull. Run to the bull. Run. Oh. How are you so fast? You just I'm keep pulling. Oh no, Try no, to not die. Oh no. The barriers are. Oh, barriers. Oh, we screwed. Oh no. Oh, oh, we can, we can run. I was doing so good. Hey, Tired, wait for me. Nope. See you later. I don't know where the bull is. I don't know if I'm doing well or not. Tired. Bro. Dude, I'm getting hit by everything. Oh. This is going to be tough. Oh, I did it. These fences are actually hard to avoid. Yeah. How fast is the ball? I assume it's faster than us. Ball, we're, we're catching up to the ball. Oh, we are. It's in front of us. <laughs> a lot of people are dying. Oh God, people are <laughs> I think the ball's mad. <laughs> the ball is in front of you. The ball is in front of you. I actually don't think I've seen. Oh, I see it. It's right ahead of us. <gasps> hey, you can do that. You can do that. No, no, no. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it, it killed Troopa. Annihilated. <laughs> Tired, are you alive? I'm right behind you, mate. <laughs> and the ball? Close to us, I can hear the music. <laughs> my goodness. Oh no, run, 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 run. What do you mean, I run? I, run, run. <laughs> I did not expect it to go the other way. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Oh Don't no. Don't look behind me, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. <laughs> help me. Help me. No, Tired. You gotta, tr you, you gotta trick it, run out of the way. Sacrifice yourself. Sacrifice, you sacrifice. No, no, no. <laughs> you, gotta make, you gotta make sure, uh, make sure I win. Make sure Tired. You win. I'm winning this. <laughs> I'm catching up. Tired. Tired. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh oh. Goodbye, unsorted. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, the ultimate sacrifice. Never. <laughs> no, I missed the <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, this is, it. this is not it. I was so far ahead. <laughs> I was so far ahead. This is my moment ah. to shine. No, 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 no. I need to do this. Uh, I need to be uh, unsorted. No, you cannot beat me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tari. Tari is gone. He is gone. <laughs> Who's left? Uh, the two in front of you. Okay. Oh, God. That's not good. I feel like I'm almost catching up to these guys. Ooh, I'm actually catching up to them. Oh, there's so many left. Hoonslayer, are you ahead of me? Hoonslayer was slain. Aha. I'm happy about that. Oh, oh, boy. oh no! Turn around! Turn around! Oh turn around! God. Turn around! Run, turn around! Run, turn around! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Did I trick it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh boy! Run! The door's not full, I'm not fine. It's coming, it's coming, it's over there! No, no, no. Okay, sure, let's wait. <laughs> yeah, let's wait. No, 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 don't go, don't go, come on. Here it comes! Oh, it does go, it, oh, it, no, it is it's coming. Actually coming. It's <laughs> it is actually coming. coming. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh god. Run run, 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 run! No, it's not by me, is it? What do you think? Hear it. No! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Don't look back! Keep going! No, no, no! <laughs> no. No, 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 no! Run behind! Come on. <laughs> can, can you not get me? Oh! No, please don't die on uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nothing to worry run. about here. Nothing to worry about here. Everything is fine. Run, run, run. Everything's run fine. Run back! Run One back! Down. No, come to me! <laughs> come to me! Oh, shit! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bro, there's no way to go there. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> I died. That was really fun. And we did a couple of more rounds. I even played as a bull at some point. But eventually, I was back in my base. And Tropa has done even more work here. Very good. But I still haven't forgotten about the rock gym. But it's clear to me that I cannot do it alone. So, for my final days, Tropa is going to guide me to victory. He's gonna tell me what to do and how to do it. We started by picking a strong Pokemon team that I can use in the gym. And we chose Pokemon that are steel, grass and water types. Those should be effective against the Pokemon in the rock gym. But that is not all we're doing. We need to improve my Pokemon stats. So we did some EV training for a few of them, mainly Mewtwo and Lugia. Lugia is not a great choice for this gym as it is a flying type, but I've had good experience with it uh, previously, so I wanted to keep it. But I increased the special attack and speed for both of my Pokemon. We also gave my Mewtwo some rare candies to level it up, and it became my first level 100 Pokemon. Then Troopa provided me with a bottle cap that actually improves the Pokemon stats even further. And finally, Troopa even allowed me to borrow the Mega Stone from Mewtwo. And with that, he said I was ready. And we both headed over to the Rock Gym. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, are you ready for this? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna start with Malugia. I'm gonna, you're gonna see how powerful it is. Stop missing. Oh boy. Never mind. Uh, that was a really bad attempt of me. I don't know if I should like keep Mewtwo in my back pocket or just use it right away. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Oh, please, please! Did <gasps> it murder my Mewtwo? Should I maybe revive my Mewtwo? Oh my goodness, Blastoise! I do have revives and stuff, but I don't know if I should use that or not. Oh. There he goes. That's the one bugging me. Oh my goodness. This is my last Pokemon. Oh, this Cardilla is super annoying. Ooh, I can heal myself? Who knew? Oh, this is a stale battle if I've ever see seen one. Ooh! Ooh, Mewtwo's back! Oh! Come on! Stop healing yourself! It's super annoying! Oh my goodness! Why won't that green thing just die already? I can't! Why is it healing itself? 
How does he do it? That Cordelia is actually killing me. The move that I'm using is super effective. But I keep using recovery. How many times can he use recovery? Wait, is out of recovery now? Wait a minute, if I... If I revive my Mewtwo now... Okay. Come on! Oh, oh, it's not using recovery! It's not using recovery! What happened? Where do you come from? He has an Onyx as well? Oh, I got it! Troopa, I did it! I did it! <laughs> I just had to use a lot of... Uh, two revives! Two revives I had to use, and uh... Wow, that Cordelli hate it. Freaking hate it. Did you see how many times he used recover? Super annoying. Oops, here we go. Cliff badge. I need to go to the Pokemart and get myself a badge case. I'm gonna go with a blue one. I cannot believe it. I did it, you guys. I did it. Look at me. I have two badges now. Oh, there's one thing I need to do. I totally forgot that I was going to do a before and after shot. Here. My cobblestone. Nice. Yeah, 